Hello Internet! Welcome back to my vlog. Sophia and Mary are here to help me give the rundown of my dates with JD and Nick. Yeah, and we haven't heard anything yet, so I'm a little bit excited. Yeah, actually, how did you manage to keep that a secret? Oh my god. Normally, you spam the group text after each date. <laughs> I'm learning self-control. Finally! <laughs> well, do you want to hear about them or not? No, no, we do. We do. We definitely do. Come on. Very well. <clears throat> we'll start with my date with JD. We had an early lunch, and then we walked on the boardwalk. Since it's summer now, we went on some rides, and we played some games. Overall, it was a 9 out of 10 experience. Okay. Why only 9? Ooh. Because my feet hurt afterwards. And he did get a little competitive towards the end. I'm not really a competitive person, so I just sort of tuned out for that portion of the day. Well, it sounds like it's overall pretty good. Um, what did you wear? I'll show you. Ooh, really nice. I like that. Now for my date with Nick. He ended up surprising me with a trip to the Museum of Natural History, which, if you don't know, is in New York City, and it is quite a travel to and from. And an expensive one at that. He actually spent his undergrad there, so he knew the area way better than I did. And after spending some quality time with the dinosaurs, we ended up at a hole-in-the-wall Italian restaurant. Apparently Nick spent a lot of time there, so he actually knew the owner. I feel like he knows a lot of people. Maybe. He's a cool person to talk to. So wait, he willingly went with you to a history museum? Yes, and he said he had a great time, so ha! <sighs> it's just you people who don't appreciate the fine art of preserving history. Don't be dramatic. You know how annoying you are to be around when you nerd out. I consider it one of my endearing qualities. So, moving on. I'd like to know how you're doing with the whole dual dating thing. What do you mean? Like, do you like one more than the other? Not really, no. Not at all? I mean, they each have qualities that I like in a potential mate. I'm sorry, potential mate? Yeah, sorry. Too many <laughs> documentaries that... Anyway, I still don't feel like making either official yet. Do they know about the other? Not by name, but they do know that I am dating around. So, what about, you know, what? You're, you're down under. Mary, what? It's a valid concern. My down under is perfectly safe. Thank you for your concern. So, like, no happy endings yet? None. Not even by your own doing? Not even by your own hand? I don't see how any of this is your business or the internet's. Uh, I just want to be making sure you're having the safe sex. Well, none is happening, and if it were, it wouldn't be with every person I went on a date with. That's just not who I am. Fair enough. Okay, so on to more safe for work conversation. <laughs> Here's my date outfit with Nick. And my dick pic tally for the week was five. That's my phone. Well, that's interesting.